so a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on Cosmo, and if you haven't seen that video, I recommend to pause this one, watch that first, and then come back to this one. And I'll leave a link down below in the description or an annotation somewhere here, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So what we're gonna do today is talk about Cosmo Code Lab. So Code Lab is a graphical programming language based off of scratch blocks very easy to use. In fact, it encourages young programmers or somebody who wants to start coding, especially like young kids and stuff. So everything is like drag and drop, block based, very easy. So here's Cosmo. What we're gonna do is give them some instructions to do just basically basic programming. So the way this works is there's different types of actions, animations, events, and stuff that we can program into Cosmo. So what I'm gonna do first is start a new project and you'll see a block with a green flag. That is our starting point. So if I want Cosmo to move, say for example, three steps forward, what I do is I drag this one over here. So right now he's only gonna move one step, but if I push on this little button right here, I can choose how many steps forward he should move. So I'm gonna go ahead and push three. And then to activate the program, all I do is push on this green flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you'll see he'll move forward three steps. So that's awesome. What if I want him to do something else after he moves three steps? So there's different things he can do here. So he can actually, for example, he can move backwards. He can move backwards faster. <laughs> he can turn right, or in this case left, depending on where you're looking at this. And then what I want him to do is, so once he moves three steps forward, I want him to turn left. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this, or just hold this, drag it over, and then you can see we're building the block here. So go ahead and activate the program. Three steps forward, turn to the left. Very cool, right? So now let's do something a little bit different. Let's go ahead and let's say, for example, if I add an animation, so he can do different things. So if I want him to go crazy, I can go ahead and just push on this. And this kind of gives you a little preview. So he's acting very excited, you know? So there's, this gives me a preview. If I want that, then I can go ahead and just drag that up. But let's say I don't want that. I want him to do something like say hi. So let's go ahead and push on that. And I can have him say really whatever I want him to say. So in this case, I want him to move forward three steps, turn to the left, and then say hi. So go ahead and drag that over. Let's go ahead and activate this. Hit on play. Oops, this one over here. Move forward three steps, turn to the left. <laughs> All right, so now, what's cool about Code Lab is that it gives you different types of examples that you can do. So for example, here's some that are just kind of previews. So Rainbow Backpack, we'll preview this code and see, so right here you can see it's a starting point, Is it's a random, and I'll move this over so you guys can see. It's random color and then repeat this infinite. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the program and you'll see that the color changes on his backpack, basically infinite. And we can obviously change that, so that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and go, go back. And then here's another one where, for example, if I want him to push a cube, so this one's a little bit more complicated. So for example, if I go in here into the sample code, of pushing a cube, basically it says identify a cube and then push that forward one step forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the program now. He doesn't see any cubes right now, but if I put one in front of him or if he sees one, that's the whole idea. When he sees a cube, he'll push that forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this cube over and then you'll see he's identified the cube and then he'll go ahead and push that forward basically one step. So there he goes and he'll do this automatically. We basically, that's the program, so there he goes. He wants to push it forward, one step, and that's basically a one, boom. So there's a lot of things that you can do inside Code Lab, and these examples are really great because it really shows you what Cosmo is capable of doing. So Code Lab can be a lot of fun, and if you have little ones like I do, it's a great way to spend time with them. For example, I made a little makeshift track, and I helped the girls program Cosmo so he can run around the track and do a series of actions. They really enjoyed it, and at the same time, it was educational for them, so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I do want to thank Anki for sponsoring today's video, and I'll leave their website and also pricing and availability on Cosmo in the links down below in the description. Also, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram stories, if you guys wanna see behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one, Cosmo. If you guys are interested in learning more about Code Lab, I will leave a link down below. Also, there's a major update coming December 5th, so make sure to check that out.